Hi, so in a recent video I showed you how to make these cards. I actually made four, I just can't find the other one at the moment. <clears throat> but in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this lovely little pillow box gift, which this is Pretty Peacock, which is one of the 2019-2021 in colours. This is Mint Macaron and I, don't, I think they go together beautifully, I don't know about you, but... Um, Anyway, so this is the project I'm making today. Stay with me because I have got a kit to give away to somebody that um, is a UK resident and I'll explain about that in the video. Okay, so the supplies that you're going to need, you're going to need your pillow box, you're going to need a strip of card. Now, my box itself is in... Pretty Peacock and this is taken from the Woven Threads Designer Series paper. It's in a piece of smoky slate card. What I've done, this pillow box when folded is three inches wide. So I've cut a piece of card that's seven. So I've got three inches for the front, three inches for the back and I've got like a inch to allow me for overhang. I've got two ovals which I've cut on the scan and cut, one in Pretty Peacock and one in Whisper White. These are three and a half inches long by two inches wide and this Whisper White is three inches long by about an inch and a half. So the first thing I'm going to do is stamp my rabbit from the fable friends now i'm not putting a greeting on this at the moment but i am doing the stamping and the coloring and showing you how to assemble it all so i'm using memento tuxedo black because i'm going to be using blends and this should fit on here perfectly I'm going to colour the body in in the smoky slate. Not doing any blending, I'm just using my blends as a colouring pencil, if you like, or pen, just like I did with the cards. So that's how it's looking now. <clears throat> I'm going to stick this onto this. Just going to use some snail. So that makes that pop now with the Pretty Peacock border. So all I need to do now is just start to assemble the pillow box. Now it has got the score lines on it already for you, although they're not that easy to see on this dark paper, but they are there. So just tease them gently. You don't have to actually physically, you know, bend as such. Just find where they are, feel with, feel with, you can feel them with your finger. And then once you start to get the middle section, you'll see the others. <clears throat> so I'm just literally feeling on the back here and trying to see where it is. And then I can push my nail in and you can start to see where it wants to bend. And once you find, as I say, one section, the other will follow. I'm going to be giving a kit away to make this project. So as I say, if you're a UK resident only, leave me a comment under the video and I will draw one name in September and send the kit out. So now all that I need to do is apply some adhesive on this narrow flap here. I'm going to bring in the silicone mat so that I can get adhesive right to the edge. because it won't stick to this mat. <clears throat> I'm gonna fold it in and fold this over. Just give that a good press. And then just pop it open, put the 
section with the with the thumb hole in first then fold the other half and then do the same at the top or the bottom because it's identical really okay so that's your pillow box so now I'm going to get my smoky slate and the reason I've used smoky slate is because that's the colour I've coloured the rabbit in so I'm just trying to tie it all together I'm just going to put this roughly in the middle of the pillow box and I'm just going to bend it round the corner and then I'm going to press it down and burnish it with my bone folder then I'm going to put it back on fold this side round and crease open it up and again where I've just creased line up the card and press it with my bone folder so that will sit on there now so what I'm going to do I'm just going to apply a little bit of adhesive here and then wrap that around now that adhesive will hold it I would probably use some wet glue or some tearing tape but for the video Um, the snail is enough and then what I'm going to do I'm going to put some dimensionals on here and stick that on there so I'll put one on either side or you can put them on the back of here it doesn't really matter so I'm going to put one over there because that will kind of hold that down as well being as though I've only used snail and I'm going to put another one there. As I say, if you use wet glue or tear and tape, it will hold better. I'm just going to press that down. Fasten the box up again. There it is. Obviously, as I say, you can add some pearls like I did for the cards. I'll bring you the cards in again just to show you. I've got one missing. I did make four, <clears throat> but these are the cards I did. And obviously, I added pearls and I added some flowers. But, you know, this is mint macaron and this is pretty peacock. And I think they go together lovely. So that's the project for today i hope you like it please give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so and i will see you in my next video thank you